HCCI was started in order to grow the workforce so that we could increase adoption of home-based primary care, both locally and nationally. We do that through education. We consult with providers and practices across the country. We are involved in research and data analytics, and we do public awareness and try to bring attention for this type of care. And there is tremendous need all across the country. But when you look at Illinois alone, there are 260,000 individuals that are older or that are homebound. When they can't leave the house to get the care, they forego the care. Or they use the emergency room as their primary care provider. That is one of the things we're trying to prevent. HCCI is headquartered in the Chicago area, and we often will look to pilot programs locally before taking them nationally. And so we wanted to really bring that scale to Chicago first. We uh, reached out and asked for applications for practices who would be interested in working with us and helping them either start a home-based primary care program or grow a program that was already in existing. We had some specific requirements that we needed in order for these practices to be able to join or be selected for the project. First and foremost is, did they share in our vision that all those in need of house calls get them? Were they a home-based primary care provider or practice already? and they were looking to grow, and others are looking to add home-based primary care to their current services. And were they excited about teaching and raising awareness about the value of home-based care and what it brings? The other piece of this that we look for is home-based primary care is an interdisciplinary and care model. This means that it is comprised of a team of providers from different disciplines who work together to really provide the whole care that the patient needs and deserves. This means care from a nephrologist. Maybe it's wound care. It could be dermatology and even dentistry. And all of those disciplines are represented within this project. The first year was really you know, a chance for us to A, align the champions and their programs to, you know, what is our goal and what do the next three years look like with milestones. We started with conducting custom market analysis using our Confer Analytics platform. And this platform was able to provide us as well as these programs line of sight into some very important data. It helped look at patient demographics, capacity for growth, quality benchmarks, and more importantly, referral sources. We also conducted practice assessments. This assessment looks at both operations and clinical practices, policies, and procedures. And we really examine some key dimensions within a program, anywhere from financials to human capital management, legal and compliance, operations, quality performance, marketing and growth, and technology. They participated in a two-day workshop, Essential Elements, which is really a two-day fundamental workshop that focuses on the new learners of home-based primary care. We also conducted our two-day workshop, Advanced Application, which is geared toward the experienced learner who's looking to prepare themselves for the value-based care. And then we had a custom workshop where we brought all the champions together and we had time that we were able to spend going into a deep dive of other very key critical areas of our practice, such as team dynamics, hiring and retention, marketing and PR, community relations and leadership skills. Within the first year, the champions in their programs have exceeded expectations, and they are more than halfway to our goal. This means collectively, these programs have added 1,700 new home-based primary care patients in the state of Illinois. We have a lot of patients that's within their homes who are not able to go out to traditional clinics to get the uh, primary care that they need. Therefore, I wanna be a part of that to prevent um, 
hospital readmissions as well as overuse of an emergency room. I knew this was going to be an amazing opportunity for us to gain further insight on what we're doing in terms of seeing patients in the home, as well as be able to network with other providers that have the same mission and goals as we do. I have plenty of patients that are living on a four, uh, floor walk-up, for example, that are completely unable to make any kind of appointment uh, possible outside of their home, medical or dental. Uh, the House Call Project um, will allow for uh, more people to be aware of this problem, as well as more potential patients to be seen. The Illinois House Cult Project's invitation to join them has come really timely for me because it's just as I've begun to thought about starting out on my own. Uh, so I'm really thankful for their support, just especially with some of the organization and business aspects of it. Um, nursing is familiar to me, caring for the elderly is familiar to me. That's a love of mine for many years. Uh, but entrepreneuring and business operations is new. So I'm really thankful for those pieces of support, especially starting out as a new business owner. One of the really exciting aspects of the project is that there really is a collective that has formed. While HCCI is teaching providers both clinical and back office practices, they're also learning from each other and they're helping each other to grow. We are on track to expand the Illinois House Call project. In early 2024, we're going to launch a new group of practices, hospice and palliative care programs who are interested in either adding home-based primary care or growing a program that they already have. 